So today I'm gonna to show you quickly how to batch process a bunch of images. So what I have is some jewelry here, and let's say I had a hundred different uh, pieces of jewelry that I photographed. Now going in and trying to tone a hundred different pieces of jewelry could take absolutely forever. So I'm gonna show you in Photoshop how to do this um, as a script. So we're gonna come down here to script, and we've got something called image processor. So image processor will do what you want it to, but um, we're gonna actually run an action to go along with this. So the first thing we need to do is create the action. So I'm gonna hit Command O to open these images, and we're gonna go to the desktop because that's where I put it in batch jewelry. So we're just gonna open the very first one that I have here. And so the idea is to kind of tone this one and do what you want to it to get it right. And then we're going to apply what we did here to the rest of the images. So the one thing that kind of sucks is make sure when you're doing something like this, you shoot it exactly how you want. Um, if you don't crop it, it's easier. It will crop, but... Uh, the issue that you're going to run into is it will crop exactly for this one and the crop for this one might not be how you want it for the other one. So if you can shoot this consistent, that's going to help. I'm not going to do it, but just so you keep that an idea. Um, one of the issues when doing batch processing is cropping that it applies the same for all and doesn't always work. So we've got this image here, so the first thing I'm going to do, and I'll just manually do this, I have some actions over here, but I'm going to go ahead and I'll bring this over so you can see. So I'll turn this to button mode, and I'll create a new action, and we're going to call this Jewelry Tone Test, just because I do. I'm not going to fill out the rest of the stuff because I'm going to eventually delete this and we'll help record. So now this is gonna go ahead and record whatever I do from now on. Just move that back off the screen. So the first thing I'm gonna do is hue saturation. And this is pretty normal to get some of this little cyan and blue cast. So we're gonna remove some of the cyan and blue cast out of the image. And I'll make a curves adjustment layer and we'll just brighten this up a little bit and increase the contrast to about there. And then I, I'm not going to do s fancy toning here. You could do as much or as less as you want. And then I'm going to go to image mode, layer, flatten image. So I'm just compressing all that down. I'm going to make the mode 8 bit. You don't really need to do this, but there's a reason why I'm doing it. Then I'm going to go to image, image size and I want all these to be the same. These are all vertical. So uh, I can size here. You can also size in the scripts um, if you want to, but I'm gonna do this in my batch. So I'll make this a thousand pixels. That will work okay. We wanna just switch this to automatic. And the reason I wanted to uh, size here is I always sharpen after I size and I want to be in control of how much this gets sharpened not a batch action or I not in the uh, in the automated script so I want this 31.3 and we'll hit OK and then I'm gonna bring this back over so you can see it and we're gonna go ahead and stop this action so stop recording and we're good to go so I can get rid of that now we won't save this so now that we have our action there, we're gonna come up here to File, uh, Scripts, Image Processor. Now there's multiple ways to do the same thing. So uh, just kind of watch. So we're gonna select a folder and I've already got that batch jewelry ready to go. So I'm gonna hit Open. So it's, that's what we're gonna use. And this is location, save in same location or you can select a folder. We'll just save in the same location. That's going to be fine. File types. File. Save as JPEG. I'm going to make my image quality 10. Convert to sRGB because I'm going to use this on the web. Now, here's where I could do that resize 
to fit, but there's no, notice there's no sharpening or anything going on. So I'm not gonna use that in this case because I've already done my image size and sharpening. You can also save as a PSD or a TIFF, which is really cool because most things don't have this available. And then the last one, it's gonna be run action. All right, so I've got this, I'm going in default actions, which is my folder. And then we're gonna come down here to jewelry test tone and include, include ICC profile. Yes, I want that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit run. And this is just gonna go ahead and automate and do everything for you. It runs it as a script. You will see it here kind of go along as it does each one. All right, so you can see it takes a little bit. Of, those are large files, raw files, so it took a little bit to kind of process it and get through. So now if we go back up here to desktop and go to desktop, date modified, batch jewelry, and we have this folder right here called JPEG, and you can see everything is sized down and ready to go. So we did a batch process of these and saved them as ready to go jpegs down here so hopefully that was helpful you learn how to use um, scripts today to batch process in photoshop you can obviously do this sort of thing as well as lightroom um lightroom actually i like it because you i can apply uh the same uh what i do as far as toning to all the images but then i can go in and crop so if you need to go in and individually crop something, because crops are most likely going to be a little bit different, Lightroom is probably the better way to go. But in this case, this automated batch process works great for what I just did. So uh, thanks for watching. Any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And don't forget to subscribe.